Scripture Explorers is brought to you by a dedicated team who spend many hours each week bringing these stories to life. Please consider a donation so we can continue to make this resource available for families. You can make a donation at scriptureexplorers.com. Hi, welcome back to Scripture Explorers. I'm James. And I'm Aria. And we're the Scripture Explorers. Hey, I just realized something. This book is called the Book of Mormon. Just like your name, Mormon. Did you write it? In a way. We've talked many times about the records of the Nephites. It was an important job to be the person who took care of those records, and eventually it was my turn. It was then my job to take all those records from hundreds of years and find the most important parts. I put those all together into one set of golden plates. What was on those plates is now known as the Book of Mormon. How did you get the records? Amaron, that we talked about before, felt inspired to hide them up, and then he came to talk to me and told me it would be my job to take care of the plates. I was only 10 years old. That's just a little bit older than you, James. Whoa. He told me when I was 24 years old, I would need to go and get the plates. The next year, there was a war that started between the Nephites and the Lamanites. It was a very intense war. The Holy Ghost was not with the Nephites anymore. I was blessed to know the truth, and the Spirit was with me. I tried to teach the Nephites, but Heavenly Father commanded me to stop. It wasn't time for teaching them. The people were making bad choices, and they knew it, and the Gadianton robbers were back, and they were growing in numbers. The war stopped for a few years, but then it started again when I was 16. Did you fight in the war? I had to lead the army. I was only 16 years old. We won some battles against the Lamanites, but mostly we were losing. My people started to be sad and to cry to Heavenly Father. I was happy to see this at first. I thought maybe they would try to make good choices again. But they weren't listening to Heavenly Father. They were angry at him because he wouldn't let them be happy while they were making bad choices. Our land was cursed. People couldn't keep hold on anything and there were robbers everywhere. That is so scary. It was around this time that I went and got the records. The war continued. I was able to inspire my men to fight, but we didn't have the spirit to help us in the fight. We made a treaty with the Lamanites and the Gadianton robbers, which gave us 10 years of peace. What's a treaty? That means we all agreed not to attack each other. It was at this point that the Lord told me to try to teach the people again, but it was too late. They were past the point where they would listen. Heavenly Father had given them so many chances to repent, but they had not taken them. Then the war started again. The Nephites had become so wicked I wouldn't lead them anymore. God had commanded me that now I just had to watch as my people were destroyed. But why wouldn't they listen to you? I don't know. Sometimes people get so angry or so prideful that they can't listen to Heavenly Father anymore. I was commanded to keep a record of what happened to my people, and I hope everyone who hears the words I wrote will make better choices and believe in Heavenly Father and Jesus. What happened in the war? The war continued. The Nephites got even more wicked. There came a point soon after this that the Lamanites won a big victory over the Nephites, and the Nephites were never able to get the advantage against the Lamanites again. The Lamanites started to sweep them off the face of the earth. I felt bad for the Nephites, so I came to lead them again. They thought I could somehow save them, but they wouldn't pray. They wouldn't repent, and so they were weak. We fought the Lamanites back a time or two, but there were so many of them we simply had to run, and many of the people who couldn't keep up with our armies were killed by the Lamanites. We all gathered together at a place called Cumorah, the king of the Lamanites gave us time so we could gather our whole people together, and then they came to attack. All who saw them come were filled with terror. The Lamanites attacked, and when they had finished, nearly every one of my people were dead. Mormon, you look so sad. The Nephites were once a good people who believed in Jesus Christ and tried to do the right things. But during my lifetime, I had to see them destroyed because they wouldn't believe in the truth. I'm sad because of what happened to them. But there is hope. What do you mean? I took the records of the Nephites and put them together in a set of golden plates. I buried them in the hill Cumorah, and a few of them I gave to my son, Moroni, so he could write a few words. I knew that these plates would come forward someday, and they have, in the book you're holding. It's really a book about Jesus Christ and his work with the Nephites, but it was my work to put it together, and so it is called... The Book of Mormon! But why does that give you hope? I have hope that you can learn from what happened to my people, and that you can believe in Jesus and be saved. 
read the book, and you can learn the things that Heavenly Father and Jesus wanted you to learn from the Nephites. It's time for Explorer Spotlight. Hello, my name is Gavin Littleton, and this is my favorite script. So, my spirit shall be in your hearts and mine. Angels round about you to bear you up. And this is my favorite script. So, because it makes me feel safe and makes me feel like Jesus is there for me. If you'd like to be in our Explorer Spotlight, let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Also, download our free coloring pages at the link below. And if you've enjoyed Scripture Explorers, consider supporting us on Patreon, also at the links below. We'll see you next week.